Step in the Pod. My name is Tolu. And my name is Stephanie. And welcome back, guys. Thanks for joining us again. Thanks. So today we're going to be talking about our spring recap. We're going to give you guys a couple insights on the student's perspective and the classes we took and just a little bit about the transition of how we had to handle our spring semester going from in-person to dealing with COVID and going online. So for the spring semester we took lower extremity anatomy 1, physiology 1, we took neuroanatomy and biochemistry 2. And I can tell you my favorite class is lower extremity anatomy. Everything else was enough. Yeah. <laughs> biochemistry wasn't bad. It was more clinical which I liked a lot so we learned a lot about like the um, te different types of tests, enzyme tests, and um, what else? It was just more clinical. A lot about diabetes, yes, which was very interesting. Definitely big diabetes. You know, podiatry is really heavy on diabetic care. Yeah. Um. So to give you a little synopsis, lower extremity anatomy is basically from the pelvis downward. You're going to be learning everything. When I mean everything, blood supply, nerve supply, ligaments, bones, muscle attachments, action. muscle action, muscles. It was actually very different um, because fall semester we took gross anatomy. We were taking five classes in our first semester. And that semester you just really had to focus on gross anatomy. Mm -hmm. But coming into spring, we had to legit divide our attention now into lower and physio. Physio, like we said, it was like the physiological basis of all the body systems. Mm -hmm. Basically, we covered everything except for respiratory and GI, yeah. which is physio too. And that's in the summer and we'll get to that in the next video. The other two classes is neuroanatomy and biochem. Neuroanatomy, yeah, I don't know what to say about that yeah. class. <laughs> that class. You you are supposed to be learning about the uh, neurological functions of the brain and the where each um, part of the brain what it does, but yeah, go straight memorization. Yeah, and it was just like different areas. You have like your Broca's area. And then I and do remember area. all the lesions we had to. Yeah, memorize. we learned a lot about the lesions, yeah. which was pretty interesting, but and intense. Yeah, but like so. I said, straight memorization. Then biochem, biochem to me, I it's not it's not a bad class. It's a great class. I just don't enjoy it. I don't know why, but it's a good class. And I think this class was very clinic relevant. Yeah. And the most very like good. exposure to like different types of diseases. What happens when this enzyme is increased? You have liver disease, like your ALT, mm -hmm. AST, um, has to do with your liver, and so. And then you learned a lot about also your uh, cardiac uh, enzymes, and that one yeah. was very interesting too, like CKMB. Yes, and like just knowing what it has to do with which um, area like, that was interesting so the classes overall was pretty much um, interesting I think for me the biggest struggle in the semester was having to divide my attention from only like gross anatomy and fall to now physio and lower being just as intense at the yes. same time and I felt like I was trying to stay afloat because physio was a lot of information like mm -hmm. the amount of information we learned was crazy for exam and even with lower like you want to this is what we're specializing in you want to learn all that information too and yeah. the way the professor was testing us dr collie he is amazing shout out to dr collie yeah. but he changed from like asking like what is this what is that to like if this Secondary. is reflected what's gonna happen if this nervous cut what would you see in a patient it was very very clinic heavy and it just it was kind of a huge shock shock to me for that semester so it was kind of hard trying to balance those two and then biochem and neuro for me was kind of like a last minute type of study thing, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, and like to add to the, also with anatomy, we were going from just more identification during lab to now he was asking more of the secondary questions and um, like, what is this function of this muscle? And you have to be able to identify what is the insertion of the muscle that does this? So, or what is the innervation of this muscle? So you were having to think a lot more in detail and he was trying to look, train us about, um, the just like about how to know more of not just like how things look but related with our lecture. I do remember one of our labs legit he threw the patella on the table and was like tell me if it's a right or left and honestly I got it right though yeah. but it was just very challenging very different from like I said gross anatomy to lower but he really really prepared us um, another struggle that semester was you know January 2020 we started we had the 2020 vision it was clear yes. we were gonna go hard start off strong and then coronavirus happened COVID-19 lockdown um, Quarantine. It was actually crazy because eventually we, I think it was March 13th or the 14th, we went into complete shutdown. Mm -hmm. We transferred online and I wanted to say 
that was chaos because yeah. the professors didn't know anything, the students weren't knowing anything, and it was like legit, it was all in the hands of like the state and the CDC guidelines and everything was going on. So the professors tried to keep up with the material. I know we were out of school for like an extra two or three days. Mm -hmm. They were trying to like figure everything out last minute. We took exams, but then they were trying to figure out how we were going to do the rest of our cadaver lab online. And it yeah. was just It was just so chaotic. abrupt that we didn't know. Everything canceled. We were supposed to go to Sports Medicine Club. We were supposed to go to um, the Heat game. And that was the time we were able to tour the locker room mm -hmm. with Dr. Lazio. So everything was just canceled, all the plans in March. Yeah. We're just right in the middle of the semester, so that was hard. Yeah, and it was just hard because everything was, like I said, no, it wasn't two or three days. They took a week off yeah. almost to kind of get everything to transition online. And then the professors themselves were like being new to this like WebEx recording. Mm -hmm. They didn't understand how it worked and some professors. Everything was so chaotic and like the professors, some of them didn't know how to use any of the online system and just them trying to figure out what we were going to do with the situation. So it was all abrupt and not only were we trying to figure out, but the school was trying to figure out what to do based on the CDC regulations and like COVID, like no one even like knew what this huge thing was. COVID and medical school was one of the like absolute worst thing that could happen to be honest. I mean, I know there's far more, far more worse things that can happen to somebody, but I just feel like the pressure of being in school and that whole transition yeah, like online that. was just very chaotic and it was just so rushed. So um, we were dealing with going from going into the lab and doing dissection with our cadavers and uh, that you're able to understand relationships with the muscles, the nerves very easily just because you are actually physically cutting through these. And then we're going to complete anatomy, which was so different because now we're basically electronic again. It was horrible because mm -hmm. I mean like we were in cadaver lab fall semester and then half the spring and then it's like when you look at the bodies some of these bodies are missing structures like I remember when you went in over the summer to look at your adductor hallucis like I think the transverse head yeah the transverse was head. atrophied in one of the paid the cadavers but like on complete anatomy it's gonna tell you it's right there yeah you know so it's just perfect it's not realistic very very different very different but as you can see we made it yes we are here still for yes, fall semester are. it was rough it was tough mm -hmm. but i think my biggest thing i learned that semester is med school is about highs and lows and you'll definitely have moments where you'll feel like you can't do this you'll definitely have moments where you'll be like oh my gosh am i even gonna pass this class mm -hmm. but you know at the end of the day what matters is that you leave with knowledge and you keep on pushing forward no matter what comes your way and yeah. i think that's what spring semester with covid or as i like to call spring COVID-19 <laughs> has taught the me personally. to remember. <laughs> yes, okay. It definitely is going on all our applications on yeah. how we survive a pandemic online. And we don't give ourselves enough credit because in med school, you know, everyone's like, you have to get A's, you have to do this. But yeah. we're in med school. Be realistic. We're smart. Your mental health is so important. And True. with everything that was going on, like some people's families were effect um, affected. We had some people who's... Um, grandparents and family members were like just going through everything it's like you still have your normal life outside of it so you gotta to understand that you can't just folk like you need to focus on med school but you have to still know to take care of your mental health because you're not going to only be dealing with med school for your life so. definitely i agree and definitely. if you are only dealing with med school honestly shout out to you guys you know it doesn't kill you makes you stronger <laughs> <laughs> but you know um it was definitely a transition. I'm glad that I have this shoddy right here. Yeah, we're so glad to have each other. Journey, you know, she definitely, there are moments I cried and I screamed, yeah. you know, and she even helps me, you know, find my new love of the gym, you know, working out. You yeah, know, I used was... to work out before, but I think that really helped with the stressors, especially, especially when we had finals week and legit it was back to back and legit we would finish taking exams, legit, no lie get on her balcony, start working, working out, out for like an hour and a half. And then go back to studying, but yeah. it was all worth it. And I'm, I'm just glad that it came through, so. Yeah, we needed to have something to get our mind off of everything that was going on, because it was such a drastic change. <sighs> from fall to spring, so okay. we like, we're glad to have each other, really. Yeah. I'm a little bit naughty, 
I'm a little bit too consumed, but every part of my body is too Oh, you guys, that's our spring COVID-19 2020 recap. Yes. But as I always say, tell your mom, tell your pop, tell your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your nephew, and your grandma too. Don't forget her. Step Into Pod. Don't forget to follow us on Step Into Pod on IG. Don't forget to email us with any inquiries, any questions you may have if you want to work with us too at stepintopod at gmail.com and like and subscribe to our channel because we're bringing more content in the near future okay and we just want you guys on this journey with us you know yeah please let us know if there's anything you want to hear about any specifics we are here for you yes. and we want to you know bring podiatry let you know that there is another way into healthcare and be surgeons before we know it crazy right yeah. but anyways we'll see you guys on the next episode thank you bye bye, bye thanks It was a blur, to be honest, because, yeah. <laughs>